so here i am presenting a demo on the spotify that is a one of the best analytics tool right now in the market so i'll just give you a brief about myself i am a tipco certified spotify professional i am working with tipco spotify company and i have a tipco spotify suit experience from last eight years and i developed many analytics application for the clients in finance pharmaceutical travel and transportation oil and gas domain during my tenure in the tipco software i played an important role in a tipco education and delivered training assignment to many of the major clients and most of the clients are based out of uh, singapore or malaysia and uh, uh, in each of the training they have around 20 plus of uh, individuals who gain the benefit of training and with overall analytics experience i have a right mix of perceived expectations of audience and make sure that the professional assimilate all that what is imparted now i will just give you the agenda of today's training like what are the course uh, outline which i want to cover i will give you a brief uh, introduction of the spotify what does spotify do architecture of spotify spotify data connectors data wrangling visualization type and spotify library controlling access to library items now what is spotify as you may have heard of many of the analytics tool we have in the market right now we have the spotify tab view click view cognos so spotify is one of the best visualization tool in the market and it is a it is a data visualization tool that allows users to access and combine data in a single analysis and get a holistic view of their business with interactive and intuitive and the tipco spotify tool is a analytics tool that helps quickly to uncover your insights for better experience so what we do in the spotify we fetch the data from the multiple data sources and bring the visualizations out of it to get the more insights about the data like what is what your data is and what the predictive analysis that can be come out of your data for example i will give you a short example for example you have a data like department number of students what percentage of a, a particular student is being so out of this data you can bring a number of visualization like uh, dividing your uh, data into a department and in which department how many number of students have gained the higher percentages so now what does the spotify do there are three three main features of the spotify the data discovery and visualization dashboard and analytics app and the predictive analysis so what is data discovery and visualization data discovery and visualization means instantly visualize interact and share data to spot the buried opportunities and risks nobody else can see so what is uh, what happens here when you fetch your data into the spotify it gives you the interactive visualization out of your data so you will, uh, you can see the risk uh, what what your data can be like if there is a risk in your data and if there is a risk in an organization and it brings up in interactive dashboard out of that data so it bring insights to everyone by giving your data a voice that projects a clear message and encourages data mining to the knowledge worker and the later what can the spotify do it it may give you the predictive analysis analytics anticipate of what's next and quickly discover what you need to do to improve customer satisfaction and gain a competitive advantage so now in the higher version of the spotify we have the ability to connect our spotify with the tipco data science and make the predictive analytics out of it now the next slide is the architecture of spotify so the architecture of the spotify contains the installed client web client spotify server spotify database node managers and automation services so what is uh, i'll give you a brief about these components of the architecture of the spotify so first is the spotify database so what is the spotify database it is not the database from where you are fetching your data in the spotify but it it is a it is a database where your spotify metadata has been uh, captured so what is there in the spotify uh, tool what is there in your library these all informations has been captured in the spotify database now there are two components which are installed client and web client so you may be knowing that uh, in spotify we have a component like installed client which is installed on your uh, system that is the spotify analyst 
and the spotfire web client means why after developing a dashboard you will publish your dashboard on web player that can be opened via web that is a google chrome or internet explorer now you have the node managers node managers contain web player and automation services so web player services like uh, you are accessing your dashboard to the web clients and the automation services means you are automating some of the reports to generate a mail out of it so the next slide is spotify data collectors so spotify may connect to a number of data bases to fetch your data into the spotify so i'll give you example of some of the databases which can be connected to the spotify there we have the cloud databases enterprise databases hadoop database olap sap web services tip to spotify advanced services jdbc odbc normal da file data sources and in now in spotify we also have the ability to fetch the streaming data so by connecting the spotify to the live view server or to the stream based server we can directly fetch the spotify streaming data into the spotify so we will give a we will get the real time data into the spotify by using uh, the tipco spotify streaming connector now the data wrangling so industry leading data preparation and data wrangling are built into spotify so what does the spotify do like for example uh, you want to bring the insights out of your data so first you need to do the data preparation then you will need to do the data wrangling so it uh, you may need to require uh, to buy a number of tools to do that but in spotify we can do these two things uh, combinedly so these great data wrangling techniques of spotify reduces 80% of your time typically wasted preparing data and because now it's built into spotify we often eliminate to buy a number of tools to do this functionality so what is data preparation so what does spotify do brings your complex and static uh, data into the spotify and before the analytics uh, happen it prep your uh, data like uh, eliminates uh, the duplicates and can do a number of things and data wrangling like interactively it can be the it, it can augment the new new columns enhance it by mixing different sources fix error fill in missing fields or enhance existing fields you can apply multiple transformations to your data before fetching it into spot file like you can change the data types of your columns you can insert new columns and new rows from the different tables and uh, there are number of uh, transformations which can be built into a spotify uh, before fetching the data into it now automatic data pipeline like on the left side uh, right side you may be seeing a, a diagram where it is shown like how these things can be done simply into the spotify for example we have a data table in a sbdf file like by the dragging and dropping we can do a multiple things in the spotify like you can add rows you can add columns you can remove duplicates from it you can change the data type of uh, any column from the database so it is like 100% automatic inline data wrangling operation made in visualization and data panel are recorded here automatically it is fully editable saves maintenance time when your data landscapes require changes to your data pipeline chooses between inline data wrangling or wrangling from the data canvas itself it is fully api enabled export your wrangling steps for use elsewhere or make the join type part of your visual data discovery experience for example if you want to bring your multiple data into the spotify from the multiple sources first you will bring one data table into the spotify then by clicking these plus signs you can join the other data sources into your first data sources by creating the joins by adding rows and by adding columns so there is multiple data preparation and data wrangling thing which can be done in the spotify by eliminating the number of tools over here so now the visualization type so the visualization fly out lets you select a visualization type and drag it and place it on a which canvas where you would like it to be positioned so here when you click on this plus button in the spotify analyst you will see a number of visualization types which can be shown over here now in the new versions of spotify we have this technique of search uh, thing where you can type your 
like in the example here they have they have written comb so you can you can see here the combination chart so there are number of uh, visualization which can be uh, implemented into the spotify the first is the table table is a simple visualization which will show the rows and columns of your data uh, from the snowflake from the oracle or from your from any of the data sources now the second is the cross table cross table is a visualization which is used when you want to show the sum of the rows the sum of the columns or any grand total any any sub total these type of thing when you want to portray you will use these cross tables now the third is the graphical chart graphical chart is the visualization which will show the bullet graphs which will show your icons and the calculated value so when you want to portray this type of data you will use the graphical chart now fourth is the text area text area is a simple visualization in the spot fair which can be used when you want to write something in your dashboard like if you want to do the html type of thing then you can use the text area visualization in the spot fair next is the bar chart bar chart is the visualization which is used to show your continuous or a category categorical data into the spot fair for example if you want to portray the number of students based on the gender then you will select the gender column on the one axis and the number of students column on the second axis it, that divides your data into the two parts the male and the female next is the line chart line chart is used to show the trending analysis for example if you want to see any portray anything over a time period or over a time stem then you will use this kind of visualization next is the combination chart combination chart is you is a, a mix of the bar chart and the line chart so if you want to segregate things over a bar and a line then you will use this type of chart now we have heat map tree map these type of uh, charts are used if you want to show a granular amount of data then we use these type of visualization so there are number of visualization in the spot by which can be built and uh, we can see insights of the data from this so the next is the spot by library so what will happen when you uh, build your dashboard into the spot by so when you build your dashboard into the spot by then it will be saved over somewhere so there is the spot by library which is host which is hosted on the spot by metadata so when you click on the um, save button your dashboard will be saved in a spot by library which can be shared with the with multiple users so we need to uh, create a user access over here like a groups and the users and you need to provide the permissions to the users to the group, users and the group to view that dashboard in your spot by library so the projects which i would be covering uh, while giving the training so the first project will be product rollout so it would be a simpler project which will help the trainees to build a multiple visualization uh, out of the data and to see the insights and the second project will, would be regarding the interactive visualizations and how we can manipulate the data into a visualization by using the property control by using the buttons which are in there in the spot by and the third project would be what if analysis it would be uh, mostly based on the predictive analysis which is, which can be done into the spot fire so the pre requisite for the lab setup would be high speed internet desktop la laptop and the system requirement would be uh, the student must download the trial version of spot fire which is free of cost for around a month now what to, uh, can the trainees achieve after completing this training so there is a certification in the spot fire called typical spot fire certification so um, after completing this training they can go through this certification so the exam is called the tcp st and the number of exam questions are 60 and the exam duration is around 1 and 1/2 hour and the percentage correct to pass this exam is around 65% so here i'll show you like the topics what are what are covered in this exam like the spot fair chart working with web clients web clients means when your dashboard is hosted to the web clients like google chrome internet explorer detail visualization and filtering scheme the filtering scheme is like uh, how to filter your data into the spot fire if you don't want to see the whole data 
tables and hierarchies tree map heat map waterfall charts these are the type of visualization sharing collaboration and automation services job builder this is like uh, after building your dashboard how you will share your dashboard how you will collaborate column and row operation uh, this is what i have shown you like how to add columns and add rows into the existing data table table relation and transformation custom expression and calculated columns so these are the things which can be done in the spotify to manipulate your data into spotify you can write the custom expressions over here you can create the calculated column uh, from the existing column advanced custom expression information links and the data connector so information link is one of the mo uh, most important part of the spotify which could be covered in the training it is like you are creating the snapshot of your database into the spotify and fetching data from the spotify data streams data streams like uh, bringing your streaming data into the spotify that is live, that is the live data map charts text areas property control your multivariate analysis relationships and predictive predictive model, modeling that is predictive analysis which can be done into the spotify so this is this would be the first course which uh, the trainees can register for it can pay for it and can take this uh, certification if they want to do so after completing the training we will be conducting the mock interviews in which we will ask them the questions for uh, their campus selection as well and if they want to get certified into this spotify certified professional exam then we will provide uh, them the training how to pass this ex exam and there are some of the sample questions over here which can be shared with the participants uh, so that uh, they would be knowing like what type of questions can be there in the spotify uh, certification so this is all as of now from my side in my training program i will cover the more uh, topics which would be given to the trainees to pass this certification as well